morning. So the time is five past ten. Um, I'm up a little bit late today. Oh, Dexter. I'm up a bit late today because I was out last night. I went to Mel's house. Um, I had a few beers and didn't get home till I think it was about half twelve, I think, ish. So I know it's not that late, but it's quite late for a Wednesday evening, isn't it? Um, right, I am now going to walk into town with Nesca. I'm going to go to the bank, so I thought I'd just take her with me. She's never been into the bank before, so let's see how this goes. I've only got to pay some money in. It should be a quick process. But at the moment, she's still in bed, so I'm going to have to go and get her up. <laughs> let's see. Sorry, it's very dark. Hi. Are you getting up, darling? Hi. Is it up time? Oh, it's a big stretch. Oh, is it? Have you got your bone? Yeah? You want to go out? Should we go out? Come on, then. Good girl. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, she's a lazy one. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on, darling. Good girl. So, we have been into town. Oh, this is slippy. We've been into town. Um, she was very good in the bank. Um, just waited for me to pay my money in and was so good as gold um, but in town she was good until there was loads of pigeons about today and so she just wanted to get to them pigeons so she was refusing to like she just I couldn't distract her from the pigeons she just wanted to get them so that was quite hard work um, but there we go we're just in the park at the bottom of the road now I think my friend has finished his wood sculpture so I thought I'd go over and have a little look at that Nesca is having a brief moment of not pulling. I've just had to stop to take my jacket off because it's actually boiling. It was yesterday too, but I thought today was meant to go colder and rainy and horrible again, but at the moment it's boiling. Are you a hot girl, Nessie? Oh, she's having a scratch. There he is. Stained or whatever he's got to do. Or maybe he's just leaving it to age naturally, I don't know. Cool, huh? Out of a tree stump. <laughs> We're not going that way, Nesca. Come on. I'm going this way. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, right. God. Gotta pull me over this dog. Right, let's go. So I have just totally forgot to film today. Um, but I'm out now with Nesca again. Um, Matthew's at home letting the birds out, so we'll just come for a walk. Oh, she's watching the ducks and she's pulling. Go, Mum, darling. Go, Mum. Come on, Nesca. Nesca, come on. Come on. She's watching those ducks over there. Nesca. Nesca. Good morning. So, the time is now half past 12. It's afternoon, in fact. Um, I haven't filmed today because poor Nessie's been poorly again. Darling girl, oh, 
Um, so we had to I phone the vets. Um, basically, she's been awake since half past five this morning, and her stomach was making the loudest gurgling, gassy sounds you've ever heard. Um, and she kept trying to be sick, but she couldn't be sick. Um, and she wasn't. She didn't do a, a, like a poo or anything like she normally does in the morning. So I was like worried that it was a blockage or something like that. So I phoned the vets and they were like, bring her down now. So that panicked me a little bit. So like I rushed her to the vets and she's had all her chest. Stomach's stopped making the noises now. And she has actually done a poo since. But it was diarrhea. Um, so she's basically, uh, her temperature's fine. Her heartbeat's fine. Um checked her teeth and all that stuff and or like gums should I say and everything's fine um so um she's got the same as she did last time she had two injections one to like something to do with her stomach um and one to stop her being sick although she hasn't actually been sick um stop her feeling sick I guess it is and then she's got some tablets and stuff and some stuff for diarrhea so that was £95 gone, but you know, like at least she's okay. Um, but it was like the loudest noise you've ever heard in your life. So that's all been a bit of a panic this morning. And she's very quiet. I mean, she's quiet anyway, but she's extremely quiet. You're not feeling good, are you? And she doesn't want a breakfast, doesn't want anything to eat. Bless her. So, yeah. So that's been our morning. I also just really forgot to film yesterday for some reason. Kind of non-stop yesterday, just doing the usual stuff and then um, cut Matt's hair and then we went to Asda because he needed passport pictures taken and then we did some shopping and then then I walked the dog. I did film a little bit of that, didn't I? And then came home and had tea and then that was the night really. I just kept forgetting to film. So there we go. Um, my mum's coming round at some point today for me to cut her hair and that's that really I think me and Nessie are just gonna have a quiet day I don't think she really needs to do anything today I think she just needs a nice quiet one maybe if she picks up a bit later I'll take her on a little small walk but we'll see bless her she's not even been in the window today she doesn't even have the energy for that anything interesting Nesca? What's going on? Hello, good evening. It is our afternoon. It's four o'clock, it's Saturday. I'm very sorry, I've hardly filmed this week. Um, I don't really know why I just keep either not doing anything or just forgetting to. Um, I've just come home from work, I just quickly shoved on some scruffy clothes, taken my lipstick off. Um, now letting the birds out and come in. I'm going to clean their cages out, but first I'm going to have a coffee and some biscuits, I think. Um, and then I think me and Matt might be getting a Chinese takeaway later. Um, he's in bed at the moment because he was at a party last night, surprise, surprise. He actually stayed over um, and he's come home and just gone to bed and I've just gone up and he's fast asleep. So it's obviously a good party. Oh, there go the birdies. You can hear them flapping about. Woo, quite mental. Yeah, so that's that really. Um, I just, the weather has been appalling here today. I don't know if it's like that, the rest of the country, but it is just, it's flooding in places it's awful um so that's a bit of a worry when i think it's meant to just carry on our weekend so i plan on doing bugger all tomorrow i might go and hire a carpet cleaner from home base or somewhere i might go and do that but other than that i think i'm just start gonna have a lazy day tomorrow maybe we'll see
Um, Nesca's home. <laughs> Here she is. I forgot to tell you before. She's um, feeling much better today, aren't you? Much, much better. She's been at Nan and Grandad's today because Matthew was at a party last night. Um, yeah, hello, darling. Um, so the birds have been out for a few hours, a couple of hours. Their cage is cleaned. Nesca's home. We're just chilling out. I've just... Um, so the charity that Nesca's from um, are asking if somebody could do a home check in Kendall. So um, I've never done a home check before, but I volunteered as I live here. Um, and I know what it's like to like be waiting on having a home check done. So I volunteered. So um, she's going to email me the like stuff through that I need to be checking and stuff. So I'm kind of like pleased to be doing that for somebody and it's um i don't know who the woman is because i wondered if i would know who it was just because like kendall's a small town but um also it's a single mum with a 16 year old son and i was like oh that's cool that's the same as us so um so she told me the name of the lady but i didn't know her and then she told me the name of the son but um i've just asked matt and he doesn't know him either which is quite weird because like not necessarily that I don't know who the mum is, but most 16-year-olds know each other within this town because it is a small town. And I think it's... Well, it's not even that it's that small. It's just, like, the way things are nowadays with social media. Like, they literally all know each other. Um, but, yeah, he, do, he doesn't know who that is. But anyway, so that's... Um, right, I'm pleased I'm able to do that for somebody. And it'll be nice to have um, a dog in the town that's from the same rescue as Nesca so um not I don't I don't think the dogs have ever met I don't think they've been like in the same place at the same time as far as I know this one's quite a young dog I think she's only just come in so but yeah that's that's quite exciting well not exciting but exciting for them um so I'll do that for them as soon as they're ready as soon as I'm free so I mean I could do it tomorrow if they wanted but I don't know they might be wanting to have like a bit of a that's before I had a home check I had to have like a big clean up and stuff you know like get the house looking perfect so she might want to do that she might not I don't know anywho oh excuse me <laughs> oh that's a big sign Eska look at that beautiful girl She's a sleepy girl. She's eating properly and everything now, which is good. She's feeling good. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for Matthew to decide when he wants to eat and then we'll order. Just got out of the shower. I've got my lovely, cosy, comfy gym jams on. I'm just waiting for Chinese. It's eight o'clock now. Um, should be here in about 15 minutes, which is good because I am starving and I'm very much looking forward to it. Good morning. So I'm on my way to home base because I want to get a new rug if there's one cheap enough. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of money. And to hopefully hire a carpet cleaner. I think they do at home base. So that is today's jobs. I think it's about half past ten now, something like that. It's colder than I thought. I didn't put a jacket on. It's been quite warm these last few days, but it's it's chilly now. Absolutely love this. I wish I had room for it. Okay, I'm back from home base. I have got the rug doctor here. So I'm going to have a brew first and then I'm going to try. Oh, I think I've left the instructions in the car. Oh, have I? And then I just got a cheap rug. It's quite a big rug, but it's only like. Fifteen pounds. It's not the best, obviously, but it's just plain. So I thought, well, that'll do for now. Fifteen quid, and it covers. I think it's quite a bit bigger than this one, so it covers quite a bit of the carpet. So in case she has any more accidents, which I'm sure she probably will, although she hasn't today, have you? Bigaboo. Um. Right. I'm gonna go and get the instructions out of the car. I've left my handbag in the car as well. Am I just stupid or what? Um. And then. 
yeah, read the instructions and crack on. It's quarter past 11. I've got to take it back up. I've got it for 24 hours, but I'll have to take it back up four because I'm at work tomorrow, obviously. So, yes. Let me show you the difference. Can you see? Look at the difference. That's clean and that's dirty. How gross is that? The trouble is, it's such a big bulky machine. I'm going to have to, like, I could do with just, like, emptying the room, really, but that's not really possible, so. But, wow, what a difference. Look at that. What a filthy cow. So carpets are cleaned, living room carpet is cleaned, it doesn't look any different now but um, you saw the difference before, I think it showed up anyway. Um, so just wait for that to dry out before I put my new rug down. Um, I think I'm going to take Nesca for a walk now um, and then I will take the rug doctor back and then I'm half debating whether I should do a tip run or not because I've got loads of crap in the garden that I'd like to get rid of but at the same time I can't massively be bothered hmm I don't know I don't know I kind of want to but I just can't be bothered oh I don't know I'll feel better if I do do it though won't I Nesca on her long line today it's like 15 metres or something so she's had a bit of a run but she gets a bit tangled in it sometimes, that's the issue, isn't it? So I just shouted her because she was tangled up, so I was like, let's go. And then she just like dropped to the ground and lay down. So at least she stopped though. She's good, I can't really let her off here just because like we're surrounded by a road. So that's why I just keep her on a long line. Don't we, Nessie? Dog is walked. County cleaner is going back. And then I'm just going to nip to Morrison's or somewhere like that to get something for tea and stuff like that.
Yeah, back from doing all my jobs now. Um, put the sh I just got a few bits from Morrison's. I've put that away. Also went to visit my sister briefly. Um, I put the new rug down now, which there it is. It's not. I was hoping it would match the chair a bit better, but never mind. It's not. It's not the best. It's not one that I'd necessarily choose. It's quite. Um, it needs hoovering. There's all these little bits coming off it, but. It was £15, covers a lot of the floor, and for now, while Nesca's still having accidents, I mean, hopefully that's not going to carry on for much longer, but for now, it'll do, it's fine. It's got like a, almost like a rubber back, so again, hopefully that'll help protect the carpet a bit more. Not that the carpet's particularly nice, it's just you don't want it, obviously, soaking through. So then my plan was to put all puppy pads underneath it to soak anything up as well in case like, I don't spot it straight away because I think that's been the issue and um, I think I've not always spotted it straight away and then it's like sunk in a bit so the carpet was starting to smell but I think that carpet cleaner's like done a really good job um, so that's good um, yeah but um, Morrison's didn't sell puppy pads and neither did Sainsbury's called in there so and there wasn't time to go anywhere else because it is now 10 to 5. It's 4 o'clock then. Um, yeah, so that's that. I am going to gonna have a quick hoover around, hoover up these little bits and pieces. Um, I don't think it's showing up, but there is quite a few fluffy bits on the rug. Um, and then I'm going to colour my hair. That desperately needs to do another. It's a bit greasy, but never mind. Um, I'm going to colour my hair and then I might do my nails and make tea. Matt's just gone out of an, on his bike so I don't think he's home for tea so I'll just make myself some and then he can just have like a garlic bread or something when he comes in. Um, yeah, that's, that's that really. And you know what? I think I might even have a beer while I'm colouring my hair. Why not? My colour is on. Um, I'm going to go and whack a bag on my head and then I am going to watch um, the latest Shane Dawson episode and then it'll be time to rinse it off. It looks very dark. It's not going to be this dark. Oh, well, I hope it's not going to be that dark. Ooh. Right, come on, Nessie. Let's go down. Well, it's Monday and I'm on my way to work. Um... This is the results of colouring my hair last night. It's just pretty much the same, but no grey. Yay! Um, yeah, that's it really. I'm just on my way to work for another busy week. So I just thought I would come on to say thank you for watching and I shall see you all again next week. Bye!